Hello everyone and welcome to this intermediate course on object-based image analysis and image classification in QGIS and ArcGIS. If you are a beginner, please make sure that you have completed my course CodeGIS Land Use and Land Cover Mapping in QGIS to get necessary background for this course. This course contains many practical labs on segmentation and object-based image analysis that supports core theory lectures. You will learn in this course the main concepts of segmentation and I will also show you how to implement segmentation in QGIS and ArcGIS as well as how to run object-based image analysis. I also will show you how to apply object-based image analysis for a real-life example of object-based crop classification task with a real project data. In the course you will be able to learn the theory behind land use land cover mapping as well as the basic information on how to work with the satellite images. My course provides you with the practical skills and step-by-step -step guide to implement practical, real-life special advanced land use land cover mapping strategies in popular GIS software tools. You will learn main machine learning algorithms such as support weather ma machines and random forest. You will also learn how to work with a variety of remote sensing data streams including satellite images and images from unnamed aerial vehicles. And now it's time to introduce myself. My name is Kate and I'm a geospatial expert and instructor with over 10 years experience in this field. I'm happy to teach you this exciting topic and share my skills and knowledge with you. The course is ideal for professionals such as geographers, social scientists and all other experts who need to use maps in their field and would like to learn more about geospatial analysis and satellite remote sensing. You'll have a copy of all the practical step-by-step manuals used in the course for your reference. You will also have plenty of handy hints and tips that I will provide you alongside with the codes to prevent any glitches on your way with object-based image analysis. Then let's get started. 